rolling. <laughs> What's up, Nine Nation of Mine here with today's Charlotte Couch Conversation with special guest Coach Kara Consorio. Hey, What's up, Mine? Say where you're from and how long you've been coaching. Well, technically, I'm from Mount Airy, Maryland. That's where I grew up and spent the first 18 years of my life. Um, but I feel like we've lived in Charlotte long enough now, going on year seven, mm -hmm. um, that we really feel like that this is our home. Um, what was the second part of the question? How long have you been coaching? Oh, I've been coaching. Um, I've been here in Charlotte. Like I said, we're on year uh, seven here. Uh, but previously, I was at Marquette University, also for seven years. And I started out at Penn State University three years on their coaching staff. Very nice, very nice. Uh, so what age did you start getting into basketball and you start playing? I started playing basketball in second grade. Um, I have an older brother, his name is Justin. Mm -hmm. And growing up, I wanted to do everything that he wanted to do. He's two years older than me. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of followed him around and he started playing in our rec league. And once he started playing, I wanted to play. So. Second grade was the first time they kind of offered that you could play. Um, and it wasn't even like basketball games, it was just skill training. So I started out there doing the skill training and just fell in love with the game. And I guess they, they say the rest is history. At what point did you know that you wanted to coach? Like, was it after you started playing or when you're playing, you know, obviously it has to be over. Did you know after this, I want to start coaching? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I actually knew I wanted to be a coach when I was in high school. So I came up through that rec program um, where I grew up in Maryland. And when I got to high school, the middle school coach asked me to come back and just help with the team. Our family was close with the coach and um, I thought, sure, why not? Um, so I went and just started kind of helping out, you know, doing drills, whatever he needed me to do. And I realized then that I really just enjoyed giving back. I enjoyed coaching. I enjoyed helping young people learn and grow. And it was so cool to be able to maybe give them a little nugget or an idea or a skill and then see them put that um, into play on the court and be better because of it. And, you know, I, I knew right then and there I wanted to be a coach at the college level. All right, that's awesome. Um, a lot of you may not know this, but this is a basketball legend. She has played in the league. Uh, just talk about a little bit of your experience playing in the WNBA, which you may have learned or anything like that. Uh, I don't know if legend is the correct. Uh, I played one season in the WNBA in very limited minutes, uh, but I knew and I understood my role. Um, I was a backup point guard. I played for the Utah Stars, who are now the San Antonio Stars, who are actually now the Las Vegas team, so that franchise has moved a little bit. And I was the backup point guard to Jennifer Azey, who some of you old heads in basketball will know that she was widely considered one of the best point guards coming out. She played at Stanford in the 90s, played on the Olympic team, and was still playing at that time. So uh, she was very good, and it was my job every day to get her prepared for games. And so I went and I practiced against her, uh, played hard, played the opponent's point guard. Um, and I got some minutes here or there, but um, I think just having that opportunity, I mean, it was a lifelong dream for me. Uh, I grew up in Maryland. Uh, the Washington Mystics were a WNBA team. I remember my mom took me to one of those games and um, you know it was when I was in college and I, I was like wow this would be unbelievable to just say that I did this mm -hmm. and I got drafted um, really late in the draft um, unexpectedly. They thought I was going to go higher. I ended up going lower. A lot of people counted me out said you know you'll never make the team and I went and I earned my spot in, in camp. So it was just a, a really cool opportunity. Um, and help me learn that, you know, you really can give what you earn in life. Right. Okay, now transitioning now into the Charlotte 49ers. Uh, what do you expect this year uh, going into the season for us? Well, I think I'm expecting a lot of unexpected um, is the best way that I can put it. Um, first of all, I'll say that I love our team. Mm -hmm. um, I love our chemistry. I love how hard you guys work. Um, I really love how I can challenge you as a coach, uh, both individuals and as a team, and you guys really um, come out of those challenges and want to get better. So the growth I've seen over um, you know, this whole fall and certainly as we started practice since October has been really fun. Um, with that being said, I do think it's a kind of a year of unexpected because um, you know, not only do we have a lot of new players, we have a lot of older players who are going to be transitioning into new roles. Mm -hmm. And any time that you have that type of change on your roster, it creates a lot of unexpected. You know, who can do what? Who has 
you know, matured in their game to fill in different gaps that we lost. Um, what are the freshmen really going to be capable of? Mm -hmm. What is Kanisha, the JUCO transfer, being eligible? What is she capable of? So there's a lot of questions to be answered, mm -hmm. uh, but I certainly like uh, trying to find the answer to that, those questions with this group. Okay. Cool. So one more kind of coaching question. What is your absolute most favorite part of your job as a coach? Uh, my, my favorite part of my job, hands down, is uh, the relationships I create with my players. Mm -hmm. um, current, past, uh, still keep in touch with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Tanisha Wright, we brought on to the staff here. I've known Tanisha since I was at Penn State. Mm -hmm. I was the GA and she played for us. Mm -hmm. And so just having those relationships and keeping in touch with people is um, just really rewarding. And then I think just transforming lives is you know, my second favorite part, like to see you guys come in as really young, immature ladies and see you grow over your time and uh, prepare you for the world and, and hopefully make you a better person. Uh, I think that's so much fun to just to see that transformation and uh, I take a lot of joy in that. Nice, nice. Okay, so now I got a quick question for you. Uh, who is your absolute most favorite athlete ever? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Hands down, point yeah. blank, period. I grew up, I had posters of him all over my room. Uh, they used to make all these like highlight videos of him. Like uh, I used to watch him all the time. You know, it was before social media and YouTube. Yeah. And so you had to actually buy the DVDs yeah. or the VHS. <laughs> but uh, I used to watch it all the time. Like it, there's no one that could ever convince me that there's a player uh, that equals him. So no, Kobe, not even close. Nope. A little close. I respect Kobe. Like right. I never really liked him as a player, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but I respect him as a player, and I think that he is certainly in the conversation of one of the best. But he's not Michael Jordan. Right. Okay. All right. A little fun question here. Out of all the coaches on the coaching staff, the game of twenty-one, who who takes the crown? Me. <laughs> you just gonna say? <laughs> not even not even Coach T. After she just came from the league a couple of. Co Couple years ago. Yeah, I mean, Coach T is really good. Yeah. Thanks to you yeah. know my help during her, <laughs> my basketball operation days at Penn State. Uh, but you know, I know her player personnel pretty well. I nice. played against her a little yeah. bit, and you know, you know, I know what she can do. Right. Um, so I think I might just have a little bit of advantage for that reason. Okay. All right. Now, Coach, last question for you. On the spot, I need your best Amaya Ransom impersonation. Go. <laughs> uh, wait, that wasn't it. Uh, wow, that really put me on the spot. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Let me get it. I know I did one of you. So. Okay, ready? <laughs>